Boom. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> uh, let's see, why didn't this turn on here? Let's see what's going on with this. How is everyone doing tonight? Hello, my name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws, and this is our win, uh, <laughs> oops, our Monday Night Live. Oh, there we go. We're up now. <clears throat> and, uh, oh, hold on here. Let's try this again. There we go. And I am, uh, it is Monday night, 7 o'clock. And I come to you every night, every uh, Monday night, to uh, do a de drawing demonstration. Tonight we are going to be uh, looking at this lovely picture of uh, these four hens kind of running along this, uh, looks like a, an, a barn of some sort um, in the back. And we're going to take a look at them tonight. So hopefully by the end of the evening you will have learned another way to draw animals and the animal we're going to focus of course are these chickens so let me i wrote down a couple notes here that i want to first take you through um a couple exercises that i think will help you as you draw animals okay any kind of animal with volume and mass so let's start off really simple okay let's just start off with a basic shape right and it's almost like a, a squished shape just like this all right almost like a bean shape and if I take that bean shape and I simply add some surface lines and look at this 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 one's going straight across and I'm going to uh, wrap it up like that in the opposite direction that automatically is going to give me some volume to this bean shape. Let's go ahead then and, and just add a little bit of tone. I'm just going to add some tone here toward the bottom. Come up on the side maybe. Just like that. Okay. And then right where the tone comes in contact with the... Uh, lighter side we're just going to add just a little bit dark value right there maybe come back in here just a little bit all right so that 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 creates a little bit of a reflective shadow meaning that um this this area is in shadow but the light bounces off the ground and hits underneath okay all right we got that one let's let's draw another one same same idea first let's just so I'm going to come around here with a nice, nice curve, just like that. And then let's, let's draw another shape right here as soon as you have that down. Okay. Let's draw that shape right there. And then this one, let's, let's go ahead and just, same thing, add some surface lines like this. Right here, we're going to turn just a little bit okay and let's do the same thing up here but we'll make those just a little bit larger like this you see let's add a little bit of shading underneath this guy here And then let's add some shading on this big guy back here. You see this? What we're doing here is trying to build organic forms. And come in. Oops. I almost changed my color there. Let's come in here and add a little tone right there. Add some tone down here and add some tone back here. You could even add some darker tone right under here and maybe back here as well. So 
So now we've added a an organic form and then put another one on top of it, okay? Let's try it again, but this time, uh, a lot of times with organic forms, uh, you will have this concept of straight versus curve, okay? So in this case, instead of, uh, let's just, let's start off with a curve underneath like this, a little bit of a curve on top, just like that. And let's come straight down there and then straight back here. And on this back side, make sure you overlap just, just a little bit, just like that. And then let's put in this round shape that we've just, we just kind of drew down, down below there. And let's go ahead and add some surface lines to this idea. All right. Trying to keep this as easy as we can. When you, when you put this back shape, back volume, push it toward the back, okay? See how this one is kind of more mid, mid, and this one I've pushed back. Let's add some shadow here. Add some shadow there. Let's add a little shadow underneath here. And let's go in a little bit darker below this. We're building form here, building form. All right, let's go ahead then and leave that for a second and let's come over here. I gotta show you a little trick. Let's draw a sphere and then right next to it, draw another, another round sphere, almost exactly identical. We're going to do this one A, label that one A, and that one B. So let's then draw another small sphere, and we're, this is going to like be the chicken's eye, per se. And we're going to push it really back to the left-hand side of that. And then on B, we're going to put one right almost in the center. Okay, back to A. Let's draw a center line coming down like this. And of course, uh, B is the center. There is no center. The center line is right on the edge there, okay? All right, let's, let's just for fun add a, add a little bit of a beat. We're gonna go straight versus curve. Okay. And on this one, we're going to add it right there. So it's going to kind of come out in a curve, just like that. Now we're going to follow the center line and draw this crown. So we're going to kind of come up here. All right. And then we're going to come up and then drop that behind, behind his head. You see that? Now we can do this sort of thing. Get that nice shape there. And this guy, we're gonna do the same thing, but, but he is, let's see, that's like that maybe going to be like this. So you, you can see how I've taken a sphere and by placing the eye to the far left, I get, I can get the sense that he's turning his head just by placing the, um, 
plus just by placing the features to one side or the to the other okay so if we're going to take that concept and then add it right to this guy so we can add a little uh, a little round sphere there and if we push that eye back make our center line right there we can make that crown and then have that crown come back like this So you can see what we've done here. We've just kind of put together a very rough structure of what uh, one of these roosters might look like. And when we uh, get into the picture, you will uh, it will come to life even more. Last thing, last thing before we jump into our picture, I want to show you is uh, drawing some of these legs now. Uh, let me show you this. If I draw a straight line and a straight line, okay, that that doesn't give me any movement. All right, watch what watch what happens here. And then I, if I draw a little bit of an angle here, and then draw one of his toes there, you see that? And another one maybe back there. Okay, so this doesn't give me any like forward motion, like he's pushing down. So if you wanted to like push, you want, you want to get this idea that he's pushing forward there. Again, this is where you're going to use a straight versus curved. You would have the back of the leg straight. And then you're going to have a slight, cur a slight curve. And then right down here, it's going to get dark. Now we've now we've created tension. You see this? We've created tension. And then we could put a little his little hook back here. You see? So it it also looks a lot more um, um, it looks a lot more organic, lot lot more uh, natural. You see what I mean? So. You want to really be careful when if you're going to draw anything from life, you want to be careful of, of parallel lines. You want to try and avoid those. What you really want to do is look for a straight and then a curve. If you go straight and then a curve, you see that? So that's that's what I want you to remember. If if this is as far as you get tonight, this is excellent because uh, Hey, <laughs> hey, Leah, how are you? <laughs> You're okay. We haven't even started. I was just going over some basics. So uh, you can, uh, I was just about ready to finish this up. So you can come back and take a look at this after we get done. All right. So, but this, uh, so when you're drawing organic forms, you want to really look for that ability to look for straight lines and then curve lines straight lines and curved lines all right that's what we're looking for and if you can work that into your drawings you will find that they have a lot more um, uh, life to them all right so we got that so there you go there's your quick little chicken and now let's get into this guy and see what we can do all right Okay, let's start off with getting our framework of our drawing. If you're watching this on recording, I thank you and I ask that you would like the video and throw a, throw a comment down below. That would be wonderful. And of course we have uh, some great, we have a great Facebook group and there's a link down below. And if you're brand new to drawing, I do have a free drawing class called the Beginner's Workshop Part A. And that's also a link down below as well. Okay, so 
we have I have a bit of a framework here that I'm going to uh, draw my picture in tonight and the first thing I want to do is kind of uh, very uh, we're gonna draw the uh, roosters do the detail first and then get to our background but I want to get some of my uh, background elements in to help me measure uh, proportion and as I go about my drawing to get everything lined up okay so in our picture let's I think the you can kind of see that this is kind of hidden behind that bush there but that's about right where the bottom of this house is all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna just put a little mark there on that side then I'm gonna look to this other side and I can see it's just slightly has a slight angle so very lightly very lightly just Put a line across just like that very lightly okay let's come up here now and and we could kind of judge we can judge kind of where this corner is and where this corner is so i'm just going to come up here and drop a vertical there okay Doing good at my sister's and didn't bring my charger. <laughs> I just saw that. Oh no. All right, well, okay. We're gonna have to come back or just do the best you can, right? All right, let's get this thickness here. We could just bring this thickness down of the inside door there. Okay. We can just be rough. And then let's come over here and, and, and look at, I'm just going to evaluate this distance right there, okay? So I'm going to come in here just like this. All right. If I leave all of a sudden, that's it. Okay, no problem. <laughs> uh, Let's get this line, let's get this uh, this piece of wood here in the door and, and just that angle is going to be just something like that. So let's just, we're just going to lightly put that across. So we're going to use this now because we're going to use a perspective grid, but I don't think we need, we're not going to put that in quite yet. We're going to get our chickens in here pretty quick. So. That's the bottom of our house here. Let's let's kind of get this little area right there. Get this line in. And I'm going to go just like about like this, I think. <clears throat> Trying to draw lightly because especially because we have those two white chickens in the background and I want to uh, make sure that they stay white. All right, so let's just kind of look at our drawing here. So this is gonna be roughly the bottom of our door right there. That's a good measuring spot. This is gonna be roughly the bottom of our, our grass right there, okay? So let's, let's try and like piece this chicken in here, all right? The, the rooster, the main guy here. And uh, let's just kind of, I'm looking at, let me uh, bring this up here. Let me do a red. What I'm looking at is I'm really kind of looking at this, that shape right there. Okay, and that's that's the first thing I'm looking for. I use a lot of a lot of negative, a lot of negative shape. To be, kind of get me lined up there. All right, so there's there's my first first mark on the page. Look at the edge of where this door is. You see this? And that lines up. Let's let's take a look at this. Of course, I'm looking this is what I see in my mind, okay? This is what I'm looking at in my mind. So I'm looking at this. Okay, I can see that that is kind of lining up right there. Alright. So so I'm looking to build this sh general shape. So there's a, okay, there's that, there's that right there. A little, just a general shape, okay. 
And then, then it's going to come back just a little bit. You see that? And then I'm going to curve. I'm just going to curve this around. Just curve it around. Yeah, thinking of thirds. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's let's just kind of rough rough put in this other one back here. This guy back here. And he's just looking at shape right now. Just shape. Okay. <clears throat> we can come back and adjust later. And then look at this. Look at these negative shapes that we could use to help measure. Look at this here. Look look at this. Look at that negative shape. Look at this negative shape. See that? So let's see. There's there's that, and then there's that there's that negative shape there. I'm just kind of roughing it in. Keep it light. Straight coming back here. Right back of the door there. Look at that lines up right there. I got a little I got a little off there but I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with it and then I got this guy poking in his head back here can't can't make measurement until you uh, get something down on the page right let's get this let's get this guy's head in just a little bit Gonna just kind of gesture where I think his feet will go. All we're doing is getting in these rough shapes. Just like what we did earlier. Now let's let's get this volume in place. There's kind of his leg there, and then we'll get this in place. And I'm gonna now make this. A little bit longer. All right, let's look at the back of this guy now and let's see, did I uh, did this erase this? Okay. <clears throat> Let's go around his his crown. I don't know what you call his these feathers around here. We can kind of come around here. That will give us a little bit of volume there. And I'm just going to give this some volume. And of course, straight line off the back. And we're going to give this some volume, some round surface lines there. And then his tail feathers are also coming almost straight. So you got straight, straight, a little bit of an S curve there. I'm thinking. <clears throat> And then these feathers, look, they, they kind of come off the back there and kind of drape down. So I'm just, just creating some lines to give some, some indication of how those are going to go. <clears throat> now, if, if you're going to start drawing roosters, I would highly recommend that you 
before you would do any final painting or any final drawing that you would test them out. I would draw some of them, get accustomed to them. The more you get familiar with a subject, the better it is. You're, you are well, uh, well comfortable with that, all right? So now this, this uh, rooster is sort of turning his head slightly towards us. So let's, let's kind of push his eye toward the back here, like we did in our example. And the top of his beak is going to come down here and just we can see a little bit. It's going to be straight along the top, around the back, straight down the front. Something like this. Let's get that nice crown on his head here. Remember that these uh, are in front of in front of it, right? We use some overlap. I think it's waddle. Is that what they call it? Let's, let's work on this back one now and we'll slowly bring him up to speed too now this guy is coming straight out there with a straight I believe right and he's coming under here there's his beak then we've got this almost an S curve and now his eye is more toward the front He also has uh this might be a she. I don't think it is. Straight back. There is that uh, chicken leg coming just like that, right? And then let's we have already established this nice negative space there, so we could do that. Let's extend this beak coming out here, and then this this guy's eye is a little forward, right? And this has a nice nice sloping S curve. Straight back here. Look for the shape. There's there's that leg. Then we'll put those crown up front there. A little bit of a waddle. And then last, let's get this last guy in place here. Again, he's really uh let's see what's he's he's coming straight out there coming there and then he's there's a straight back you see that just Looking at measurements, looking at measurements and relationships here, right? I'm going to add a little surface here. So all I'm going to do here is add some surface lines. So it, 
the ground is pretty rake. Well, I don't know. I just it has a lot of texture in it, and I don't I don't want to lose that. It has this stick in it. Look at that. That's a. <clears throat> so, what am I doing here? I'm. I'm Right now, I'm kind of drawing my construction. I haven't put any detail in. I'm just getting my construction down, okay? Uh, let's get these weeds back here, all right? I'm just looking really for the outline. Variation. back here maybe huh? careful when you put these ground areas in that you're making them not even they're work on this uh, let's work on this uh, wheelbarrow in the background here and get some of these bricks so let's first divide our let's divide this door down the center you see that it kind of has this center part there and it has this panel right there we'll get it get that in the right angle so this is kind of a perspective grid back here. That's that's what is a perspective grid? It's it helps us to get everything in perspective and we can look for two extreme lines and then break it down. So look at right right about there and the bottom. I'm gonna find the halfway point between right there. Okay. Other side, the same thing. I'm gonna look for the top, there's the bottom, and there's halfway point between there. And let's do the same here. We're gonna right about there, it's about halfway point. So let's line those up and then don't draw through our door, but you can kind of go across to the other wall on the other side there. You see that? Let's go ahead and break this down into halves. Always, always looking for halves. And then we can break this one down here in halves. Now up here, let's let's take this measurement, right? This little measurement right there and put it up there and then take this measurement. Make sure you stay accurate there. And there's there's our other guy. Okay, let's go ahead and get our uh, wheelbarrow in now. So, if I look look at our drawing here, our, our wheelbarrow is going to be right about there. It's going to, it's in perspective slightly. So there's the top of it. And then all we're going to do really is build out this square just like that. And then we know our wheelbarrow is somewhat round, so we could we could do something like that, and and know it's going to be just like that on that side as well. And then then I'm going to come up here and put where the handles are in there. I'm going to put one right there, 
And then realize this other one is going to be in perspective. And he's going to be way up here as well. And this is going to be uh, the bottom part of that wheelbarrow. And now I can connect these guys. These handles here, right? We have another bar, and it's going to come out here. This is where it rests on the ground, and it, look how far it extends out. You see that? So draw the bar first, and then connect the ends. Just like that. And then our wheel, now look at that, our wheel is way out here, and this guy is... Got that there. And there that is. And so then just kind of guesstimate. It is in the background, so it's not like the most important thing. And then I can see this shape coming around. Coming around. get this log in place now and this log looks like it's it's coming in that direction and it goes right over right there so let's let's draw that log in that's an interesting that's interesting and we can even add some surface lines to it to help us remember that it has roundness volume looks like there's another log behind this guy so we've just spent the last uh, oh, almost half an hour just trying to get our construction down of this drawing and we haven't put any detail in yet just outlining our form let's get some shape of some of these uh, stones and they're gonna follow our guide there as far as uh, going back in perspective There's lots of variation here so All right, <clears throat> how's this going down here? Let's see now, this is going there, okay, I got that, good. I think it's time to uh, not get into all the detail quite yet, but let's let's drop some tone into our picture. So let's, let's squint, squint your eyes as you look at it, squint your eyes and ask yourself, where is the darkest dark? And it looks like really the, the darkest dark is, is right over here, right? right behind these guys. So let's just try and go in and add a nice even tone. And then the door, now this is the part where I'm starting to try and evaluate value. And the door is a little bit more darker value than, than this side there. So I'm just gonna Go real slowly and add some tone here. Try 
try and get that tone nice and even. All right, bottom part of this wheelbarrow has some tone. And then the side of this wall has some tone. Let's get some of that in as well. My door can go a whole value darker. So I'm just going to come in here and build this up slowly. back in with detail all right so my big my big rooster here he definitely has some tone overall compared to those white hens behind him so let's let's just totally fill him in with an even amount of tone and then let's add some tone in the back for the grass that's behind this hen See now, now it's starting to look nice. We got this, got those hens nice and white in the back there. You see that? We can, we can add a little bit of tone to this plants over here. What we're trying to do is organize our values, okay? Organize our values. Okay, I'm going to tone in now the ground, but I'm, I've changed the direction of my uh, pencil so it goes right to left. I just, I really want this a little bit darker than those white chickens in the back. And I'm going to put one more value on top of my hen, my rooster, out in front here. <clears throat> okay, I think we're pretty good now. Now I can kind of go in and start detailing things out. Okay, I've got uh, my construction down. Now I've got some tone in place. So uh, I could even now, I could, let's start, look at the hen, the, the rooster in front of us. And now break this tone down. Let's add some more tone here because the front end is, is much darker than the rest of it. So don't even think about feathers quite yet until we get this, these values down. Now, if you remember what I showed you earlier on about drawing this leg, let's start with the leg. And this front end here is curving down. You see this? Back end is straight. It's subtle, but man, does it make a difference. Straight line there, and this is curving around for us. He's got his hook there. Okay. And then I'm going to add some darker value here on the underside here of his feather.
we've got some more dark value here. I'm just right. Let's get that other foot in place here. There's like a little bit of a curve there. Hey, Joe. Sorry I'm late. I slipped it. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Joe. Well, you, we're going to finish up here. We're not, we're going to finish up here in just a bit, but yeah, definitely watch the replay because I show you at the very first half or the first quarter, an easy way to draw these chickens. So I, I think you will appreciate that. All right, so we've got that in place now, and look at the texture in his in his neck feathers here. I'm just gonna draw some surface lines to help indicate that. And then it gets kind of dark down here just a little bit. That will help to push that forward. And then darken right below maybe his beak, right? So that pops out. And I'm darkening just behind slightly this crown of his. Hey, how am I? I'm doing great. This is very busy day at work today, but we're here, right? And how are you doing? How was your day? Look at this, the, the back of this chicken's nice and straight here, get straight line, but do do curve these uh, feathers around because this, this will create some nice contrast here. And then look at this, this is almost straight as well. For his leg you see this surface lines and all i'm doing now is just looking for my darks dark values and light values trying to really punch it where i could get it nice and dark And then keep it light. So let's get some of these feathers. Let's look closely. Let's look closely at these feathers here. So let's see, I've got a nice long one coming back like this. So I can outline that. Then this one behind it is darker in value. Right? And then it's like drawing hair almost, right? And then right underneath this tail feather, I love this really dark back here. It's like a silhouette. And that's just gonna really help for me to uh, show the volume on our, this chicken. Oh, let me, still looking at him here and adding a little bit more value to help certain areas jump off the page. All right. I'm going to go back now and, and kind of darken in this wheelbarrow a little bit. I'm not going to add as much detail as I have in that front chicken, but I definitely want to get this much darker in value because I want these white chickens to pop off the page. This 
door is going to be darker in value. Let's stick this log here, right? Using surface lines to describe the form. key is when you draw this, you want to make sure you get your, don't rush in to get your value until you get the thing constructed. Remember, you, our three steps are simply gesture, construction, detail. And that's kind of, that's kind of the method that you want to take. Oh, look at that. It has a little bit of a shadow there, right? And there's another log coming over this way. All right, over here now. Look at this. This is really dark. I'm going to add some tone. Of course, this chicken back here is... I'm not really that concerned about him. I, I kind of like this guy up front here. He's, he's what it's all about. I'm going to add some of this grass back in here now. And that too has some tone changes. I want to think of my tone as math. Really drawing individual leaves and drawing the uh, <coughs> drawing the uh, negative shape, the negative shapes that I can see. Darken this back here as well. Darken this. Really want to get these guys to pop off the page there. So yeah, I think those are working nicely back there, huh? <clears throat> so I'm going to add some more detail into this brick wall here, and I'm not. I'm not going to draw every single brick, just, just enough to give the idea, but the key is to make sure that these things are all in perspective and are following our grid. And there's some tone difference in this as well. Let's drop this door back even more. What time is it? Oh, 58. Wow. All right. We're almost done here. Of course, I didn't quite finish. Means I'm going to have to maybe do this off the air. Okay, so I'm just putting these slat, kind of indicating these slats of wood now. And I could add some more tone here. bit of texture and 
then where this door is coming in contact with that side on the far left, I want to make sure there's a solid tone there. Change in value. And of course, at the corner here, I want to change in value as well. And now watch this. Make sure, this is important here, this is the last thing we'll do. Make sure when you come up here with the edge of your brick that you turn the corner like that. You see that? You want to turn the corner. That's going to really read then as that thing is, uh, is going back into that door there. That, that has some thickness to it, you see? Okay, I think that's gonna do it tonight. Um, can't wait to see how these turn out. Let's see what else is going on there. Bam, like this. I'm gonna darken that in a little bit. Darken that in. And the last thing I'm going to do, and I'll do this off the air, is I want to add some more, uh, some more texture to the underside, to the ground that the uh, that the rooster is standing on top of. Okay. Well, hey, listen, that's, that gives us an hour here. You all must be tired. I am. <laughs> but, you know, there's nothing better than all getting together and uh, drawing a little bit in the evening time. I hope you learned something tonight. My name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. Thanks to, for tuning in, Joe and Leah, a little bit earlier. It's always nice to have a little company. Okay, everyone, have a good night, and I'll see you in Facebook. Okay, bye-bye.